young, I used to love just taking walks in the neighborhoods. And, you know, I would just wander and get lost wherever I went. And these were the days before smartphones, so we were able to actually get lost. And during those walks, I would just, you know, go and touch the grass or, or brush my hands through a bush of, you know, leaves. Or just sit, sit and stare up into the tree and just watch how the, the leaves danced and how the light danced with it and how the wind, you know, made it dance and all that, that whole, the scenery. You know, I love trees and, you know, there are different barks. I mean, you get smooth bark to rough bark to big bark to small bark. And, and the trunks of the trees would start big and it would split into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces and eventually become a twig. And at the end of that twig, there is, you know, a flower. And I kept these, you know, snippets of moments and memories separate from from any other memory, but these are just kind of these visceral, tangible clips that I kept all my life. For some reason, I didn't know why, but there were I had hundreds of them that I could just go back to whenever I felt like it. And when I, the first time I heard the Thanksgiving address, I knew that that was the key to unlocking all of these moments. So I learned about the Thanksgiving address from John Stokes, who was my mentor through the tracking project, who is still my mentor today. Um, and he, I believe he learned it from, you know, Mohawk chief, um, his name was uh, Tom Porter. And the Thanksgiving address, apparently in the Iroquois tradition, they also call it the um, words before all else. In their language, I'm going to butcher it, but it's Owentong uh, Kariatekwan. And apparently they do this every morning when they wake up to start the day. Or when they have a big meeting, they'll have, you know, one of the chiefs orate the whole entire thing. And sometimes it takes hours to days to go through and thank everything. And the whole idea is that you send your thanks to nature. Um, starting from, you know, human, us going to Mother Earth, to the water, the fishes, the, the animals, the trees, the bugs, you know, everything up until, you know, all the way up, you know, through the stars and the sun into the Creator. And the reason why these words struck me hard was that it was for me a key into connecting with nature in a different way, in a way that I was a participant rather than an absorb, observer. And so as a young child, when I remembered these vignettes and these moments, I realized that I was trying to connect with nature, but I didn't quite know how I was doing it. And so with the Thanksgiving address, it give, gave me this permission to be a part of the expression of nature and this unfolding, you know, beautiful world that was going on and that I was actually able to contribute with gratitude to this world. I studied biomedical engineering and biology at Tufts University and, you know, worked in a sequencing lab and went through different kind of work that taught me different things um, throughout my career. And where I landed was that, you know, humans, we are damaging this planet in a, a really terrible way. And in order to create a better relationship, we need to learn how to connect with nature in a different way as a society and this is why the work at Akahiao Institute resonates with me um, is giving the kids that chance to connect and to develop that relationship at an earlier age so unlike me who you know wow connected with nature when I was like in my late 20s you know they could do this as a child and this is something that you know that many of the indigenous cultures especially in Hawaii uh, the Hawaiians used to do this is how they lived and so I wanted to share that and the Kahiao is a way of doing that. My name is Julie Rogers. I am the executive director at Akahiao Nature Institute. Um, I started this institute with my mother whose vision was to, uh, to create a space for children, happy children to learn. And my vision was to connect kids with nature. And so we got together and started this um, organization. 
Uh, we are now planning for programs in 2021. Um, please check out our website and please sign up for our newsletter so you can be the first to know what's going on.